Hey everyone, I want to welcome y'all to part two of this two-part video from a fishing trip we just got back from yesterday on the lower Chesapeake Bay. Um, if you didn't see part one, please go back in and watch that and you'll see the intro to that um, and the beginning part of this uh, fishing trip. I want to take this opportunity to tell y'all a little bit about what we're planning uh, for the rest of the a year in reference to saltwater fishing because uh, obviously y'all are fans of that or you wouldn't be watching the video. Um, I've got a, a possible spade fish trip. We had a lot of luck with some big spade fish last year uh, in July with Captain Walt. Um, him and I are kind of in the preliminary phases of that. I'm going to see whether or not he's available when I'm available. And hopefully we can put that together. Not quite sure if we can or not. You know, the price of gas right now is so outrageous that it's really jacked up our overhead, uh, on these, our overhead expenses on these trips. <clears throat> it's actually doubled them. So, uh, so possibly get that done but definitely in August I've got a trip planned again with Captain Dillon um, and uh, a couple other um, buddies of mine and we're going to be going down to the Palmaco Sound uh, the mouth of the Noose River trying to get on some of them spawning big red drum down there uh, with popping corks uh, so we're gonna be doing that in August for sure that's that's a definite um, <clears throat> excuse me and then uh, in October, my wife and I are going to be going back down to OBX. We had an epic trip last year, uh, surf fishing, catching high-end slots out of the surf, sound fishing, catching, you know, slot reds, uh, and uh, good-sized trout out of the sound. Um, I've got a new 2.5 horsepower um, outboard motor for my kayak. I've actually got a, tra a transom on the back of my kayak. I've got a special mounting bracket. Dying to get down there and use that. Um, I don't even know if I need it for that because we don't go very far out, but uh, <clears throat> that's something I definitely want to use this year. But we're going to be going down there in October, um, so we've got that fishing trip planned also. So i got a few things lined up saltwater wise. Uh, I may even go out, if I don't get an opportunity to use the kayak and the outboard, I may go out and do some deep inlet fishing with it, uh, maybe even late October, the beginning of November. Um, and uh, I've never went fishing during deer season but I'm considering doing that uh, for speckled trout for, for some big gator trout um, but anyway hope you enjoy the video uh, it was an amazing trip that we had out there with great weather and I really thank you for watching um, if you want to see exclusive future content on the channel please subscribe um, and if you really like uh, the channel then uh, which is basically I mean, primarily it's about fishing whether it be freshwater or saltwater or uh, about uh, uh, trail camera stuff. Uh, those are my two things I'm doing the most these days. Then, uh, you know, please do what you can to help promote the channel and we'll keep the content coming. Uh, again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. I didn't pay, pay that much attention to it. I don't know if you'll still have it or want to get That one right there did for me. Yeah, well, that, that, nah, come on. You don't want to settle for that. Yeah, that'd be a piece of shit right there. <laughs> I wouldn't come fishing with you. That's all we had. Yeah, no joke. I would be embarrassed to be seen in that thing. I'm going to go downstairs take a nap. Y'all holler at me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you would, too. You'd be like, crank up the air conditioning down here. Turn up the air conditioning. I'm going to pull the blackout curtain. Look.
he made the osprey drop the fish. It did, didn't it? The fish had the the osprey had the fish. The bald eagle chased it, and watch the watch the osprey go back down. He's gonna get that fish. He's looking for it. He's hope there it is. Dylan's hooked up and we're crossing our fingers. They come up? It's not a good sign. Get my biscuit. I couldn't quite tell. Oh, Shit, no, that is not a skate. That is a big. Big drum. Ready? Yeah. Dude, how did you get him there this quick? I don't know. He came in easy. Where do you want to try to take him in at? Let me get this bigger than that. Alright. That's a beast. Oh, geez. That's a, that's a fat fish. Keep tension, keep that rod tip. There you go, there you go. Let that rod tip do the work. Yeah, that, that's actually my, uh, that, that's on a circle hook. That's not on a bottom sweeper, so it's gonna be sunk in a lot better. If you have any inclination, you need to come back here. Yeah. You're doing good. We just gotta wear them out. It's gonna take a bit. He's diving. He's diving. Yeah. He's inverted. Yeah. He's gonna come up right here next to the boat. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Hang on. You got you got a real a really small setup there, but don't push it. Yeah, I'm trying not to. You got the uh, 80 pound braid on that thing and a 40 pound leader. You can come right up here. It's a bull. He's yours. He's yours. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. He's a little scuffed up in the ass in there. Get the bump board out. You tired? <laughs> They'll wear you out, won't they? They will wear you out. God, that's a fat fish. Look where it's at. Here we go. Go, <laughs> <laughs> sir. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, fine. 
Hey, if I gave you yours and I grabbed mine, and I grabbed yours. Crap, dull big head shakes. Holy crap, dull big head shakes. Big head shakes, dude. Uh, he's 40. Get him one and measure him while I'm fighting this thing. He's a uh, he's 42 at least. What do you have on this pole? 65. I mean, what do you have for a rig? Is it a bottom sweeper? Uh, no, it's a circle. Good. 42. Yeah, 42. But he's a fat 42. We'll get we'll get hero picks with him if you got to revive him a little while. He's shaking like crazy, dude. He's running way out, straight out to the ocean. We'll, go, we'll get a double somehow, like if I have to set the camera up, put it on a timer, or, or any, anything else I can draw from the, the GoPros. He's straight out where we would want him. Nah, it's good. Seems like it's good. Alright, so Dylan just landed a very fat, healthy 42 incher on my rod. Then his rod, which was one of only two we had left in the water, on the opposite side of the boat took off. I was closest to it, so I grabbed it. And it is definitely red. Big head shakes. This is no shark, no skate. What pound test do you have on here? 60? Oh, good. 65 braid. 40, 40 liter? Damn, 80 liter? That'd be awesome. Dude, this thing is crazy how much it's going out there. But you got a lot of line on this reel. He ain't gonna spool us. Yours came up so fast. Give me this. I don't know. Wait, uh... I'm not getting anything back on this fish. Try to revive him. Okay. Yeah, I, got a second, I got a second set of fish grippers. Yeah. If you want to, or if you, I tell you what, if you want to put them back in the net, just hang them over the side. That might be the safest that. thing to do. With that way we know we're not going to lose it. Well, I might need the net though. I know you might need a net for me, but I feel like we're a ways out for that. This fish has a hundred and some yards of line out. All right. Yeah, just keep him revived. Damn, something popped. It didn't pop loose, but he tail wrapped or something for a second. Vicious, vicious something going on down there. Take, take all the time you need to try to keep him revived. Because this thing is a long way out and still taking line. But, oh hell, I think he surfaced way out there, dude. If that was him that just surfaced, look way out there. If that's him that surfaced, he is a long way out. That is exactly where the line's headed to. He's, he's still 100, he's still 90 yards out. 
which makes me nervous because if he made a run to the bridge, he can make the pylons. Feels like he's trying to dig himself into the bottom. I've got him to about 80 yards now. I'll let you know when I bring it in, it's getting pretty close. All right, Dylan, I need you to bring him in. This is a sea monster, dude. Look at him up here on top, dude. Spots all over him, and I swear he's bigger than the one I caught two nights ago. I'm trying to keep one up because the opposite side of the tank. He's trying to go, but how much is it? Trim it up. Still got him, but damn, I'm not sure if he's in the motor or not. Dude, he's on it. He's on the motor. He's he's on that motor. Oh, wait a second. I think I might have got him free. He turned upstream. Now he's over here. I'm gonna get him over here. He's coming over here. Just got to keep that rod tip below the motor. You're clear. Now he, he just hit the rod, the line's going right to the motor. Oh, here we go. Now he's coming behind. It got in the motor for a second. Can only hope it didn't damage it. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. You don't catch. It's coming towards you, but I, I think I need you over here, dude. Yeah, he's going to. He's gonna have a couple dives in him. Yeah, he's gotta be tired, man. Come on up here. I don't want to horse him here at the end. Yeah, that's, that's John on this dude. Get away from that motor. You got her trimmed up now. It's not the longest rod. He's right here, dude. He's gonna come right up on. He's right here, dude. He's gonna come right up on you. Woo! That's too good. Holy Good. All right, camera. Zoom in, boom. Zoom into your face, boom. Try it again, boom. This thing weighs way more than the other one. Did. Way more. That's my biggest by weight, by four, by short, by far. Right. Take your time reviving it. Oh. 
Go, buddy. Go, buddy. There he goes. He's looking good. He's looking good. He's going right into the... Yep, right inside the ankle line. Did it kick any? Good. Mine did really good. He got the teaser. Yeah. It ain't no dealing fish, but it's a fish. <laughs> it ain't no flatty, but it's alright. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's a keeper. I got you. Yeah. I know you don't like it none, but. Like Skinovers, but like a little bit bigger. <laughs> you, That's all right, man. That's all right. I'd like to see you catch one about three times that size. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be some good eating with 